Hey, what's up, you guys? Uh, today I have a haul for you guys. Um, I went a little crazy at Walgreens, and this is what I got. <laughs> um, starting off, the first thing I got was this month's Glamour magazine. It's got Taylor Swift on the cover. I don't usually get Glamour, but um, I don't know. I was just kind of intrigued by the little things that are on the sides, so I was just like, I'll pick this up. Um, the next things that I got are these Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liners. I don't usually line my lips, but I've heard really good things about these ones, and these were on sale, I think, for only, like, let me see. These were on sale for, like, half price, so they were, like, $3 each instead of 6 so I was just like, I'm gonna get these two that I've heard people rave about. This one is in the color East End Snob, which is like a nudish kind of pink color, which fits into a lot of the stuff that I wear on my lips. And then this one is in Addiction, which is just a nudie brown color, which again is fits into some of the stuff that I wear, um, most of the stuff that I wear. Um, I always wear like a nude lip, so why not start lining them? Whatever. Um, and then I got three Wet n Wild lipsticks. These were on sale for a dollar something each, like a dollar fifty, I think. So I picked up three of them, three colors that I thought were just kind of pretty. They were nude, you know, everyday looking colors. Um, the first one is just peachy, which is like a peachy nude color, obviously, just peachy. Um, and I'll have swatches and stuff on my blog. I'll do a post about this haul, so you can go and check that out once, you know, I have that done. Um, and then the next one is Bear It All, which is like a more brownish nude, which I think will go really well with that lip pencil that I just got. Um, and then the next, the last one is called Think Pink, and it's just a very bright, like, baby pink color, which I think will also look good for every day. So they were just really three really pretty colors that I thought were cool. Um, I picked up this Studio 35 Beauty Cocoa Butter Lotion. This is going to be like my hand cream for my purse. It smells super good. I love everything. Like It smells cocoa buttery. Um, and it was like 99 cents. So I'm like, I'm just going to get it for my purse. Um, and then I saw the Maybelline uh, display. The new, like, nude color one um, and I was looking all over for it and then I turned a corner away from beauty and it was right there and I kind of went a little crazy. Um, so the first thing that I saw is the new Maybelline Eye Studio Quads. They had three I think, three or four of them that were limited edition. I only got one and this is the one called Take It Off and it's got a white a kind of like plummy color, a brown and a black, and I thought these were like really pretty together. I'm in love with my other quad that I have, uh, the Autumn Dream Autumn Dream one that I have of this. I really like the texture and everything, so I thought I would try another one. Um, then they have a whole bunch of new color elixir lip glosses. Um, a lot of them were like brownish bronze colors, but this one I think would be really good for spring. Uh, it's in the color Radiant Blue, and it's just like a really pastel pink color. You know, great for spring. Easter's coming up, you know. <laughs> um, then I picked up two of the Master Glaze uh, blush sticks. I don't really wear cream blushes all that often. In fact, I don't really like cream blush. But these colors were just so pretty, and they were just... <laughs> Amazing. I, I love the colors, and I'm thinking that I wear a lot of blushes that are this color, so they might work. Although they look a little gnarly, because I've tried to mess with them, and they're really soft and creamy, and so they just get kind of, like, gnarled up. Um, but this one is in the color Nude Rebellion, and it's just like a brownish, like, naturally nude color. This one, this next one's super gnarly, you guys, I'm sorry, but this one is called Barely Pink, and 
as you can see, they're super soft and easily moved. They've got the texture of the Dream Pouncy blushes, except they're in a stick, which I don't think is very, very good packaging wise on these. But this one is just kind of a rosy gold color. So I think these will be really pretty as blushes. I love these colors. Um, then they have a whole bunch of new nail polishes called the Nudes or whatever, the color show Nudes. I only liked this one, and this one's called Blushing Nude. And as you can see, it's just like a rose gold bronze color. Um, all of these things, all of the Maybelline things are limited edition. They say on the packaging that it's limited edition. So if you see anything you like, I would suggest going out and picking it up like as soon as you can, because I don't know how long they're going to be around for. Um, they have four new lipsticks. Um, this one is in Ravishing Rose, and it's just kind of a pastel pink color. I love this one. A lot of the other ones were like bronzy and stuff, and this was the only like pinkish one, so I picked that up. And I love my two uh, in the buff ones. I wear them like every day, so I figured I would get some use out of this one. And last but not least, I picked up three of the color tattoos. Uh, they have a new nude line, too. Um, I picked up Beijing Beauty, which is just a very cream color. I think it would go good as a base for a lot of shadows. Um, all these for bases, I think. That's why I got them, as to have as bases. Um, I have Nude Compliment, which is a little bit more of a taupey color. As you can see, it's a little bit taupey. Um, and then the last, oh, here, I'll do the blushing, or Beijing Beauty one, two. I don't know why I'm doing these swatches. I'm going to have them on my blog, but here, this is the Beijing Beauty. It's just a very, like, cream color. You can't really see it on camera, but it's a nice, like, cream shade. Good for a face. For a lot of like pinky tone shadows, I think. Um, and then the last one I got is called Sleek and Spice, which is like a little bit darker. And as you can see, it's very dark. I think this would be more of a like straight up wearing it as a shadow rather than as a base, because but it is really pretty. I really like it. So those are the things that I got at Walgreens today. Um, with my Walgreens card, I saved like 20 bucks today, so I'm like super excited about that. Um, if you like any of the things that I picked up, especially the Maybelline stuff, like I said, they're limited edition, so I would get out there and get them as soon as you can. Um, and I'll have a post with swatches of all the makeup on my blog coming soon, so check that out. Um, I'll probably upload this video first, but, um, yeah, if you want to see that, just stay tuned because that blog post will be coming. So, uh, yeah, leave a comment down below letting me know what you think of all the new stuff, or if I missed anything new at the drugstore that you, you know, like, that I feel that I missed. Um, and like this video, and if you haven't subscribed already, you should click that button because that would be awesome. And I will see you guys later. Bye!